Bobby's story and Bobby and D have been in a relationship for a year and it's going well. D invited Bobby to a family get together in her uncle's compound. Uncle Wayne and Sandy organized everything, yeah. And D has a big family, so the compound was packed with cars and they all even had to park even outside the compound okay so the men were talking about sports uh, you know they were playing board games and uh, the teenagers were doing tips challenges and the youth were mingling the aunties and moms were cooking and talking about family stuff you know and the DJ was playing some good music and the ambience was just great it was family oriented the mood was just perfect and incredible okay so uh Dee's brother puts on a good song and they start dancing and you know bobby grabs his girlfriend d and they get onto the dance floor and you know they start dancing and things are getting heated up he's they're looking at each other's eyes and bobby's just wow i am just so blessed to have d in my life you know and they start you know looking at each other romantically, you know, and, uh, you know, the emotions get high, they start kissing, stealing kisses, and they sneak out of the party, get into their car, and they go to their place to, you know, uh, cement this wonderful emotion, and they make love, like passionate love, like bam, bam, bang, you know, just doing what lovers do, yeah, and they enjoy it. So one Sunday, um, Dee and Bobby are in the house. Bobby's working, and then Dee requests Bobby to, you know, uh, take some curtains to on Sunday. And uh, uh, Bobby says, "Okay, babe, uh, I'll take them once I'm done with this work, and just put them in the car boot." And Dee's like, "Okay, fine, thanks, babe." And she kisses him. Okay, so Bobby is done with uh, uh, working, and then. He goes to the car and he goes, uh, he drives to to Uncle Wayne's house where Aunt Sandy is. Uncle Wayne is Aunt Sandy's husband. So he drives and he gets there. And when he gets there, he goes to the front door, he rings the doorbell, but nobody's responding. Nobody's opening, yeah? So he says, you know what, let me just go around the back, yeah? And maybe there's someone there. And he goes around the back but he doesn't see uh, signs of the door open. So he decides, you know what, let me just put these curtains in the backyard, in the garage in the backyard, and, you know, and Sandy will find them there. So as he was doing that, uh, the back door is actually transparent, and he could hear some moans, yeah? He could hear some moans, like, you know, sex moans. They are like, mm. You know, and then a man groaning, and he was like, oh, no, that's Uncle Wayne is definitely giving it to Aunt Sandy. You know, they're really getting it on, yeah? So um, he decides, you know what, let me just drop these things at, uh, in the backyard, and I'm going to just leave. So while he was tiptoeing to the backyard, because he doesn't want to make a creaking noise to alert the, you know, the people who are getting it on, <laughs> He actually sees Uncle Wayne, and Uncle Wayne is not with anyone, not even on Sunday, but by himself. And he looks on to see Uncle Wayne actually pleasuring himself, and he is astounded at you know this site because Uncle Wayne is well built, okay, and his member is long, so. Bobby is just looking at him, stroking it, and he, you know, and he's just there. He's just like his mouth is agape, and he's like, "What is going on?" And Uncle Wayne is just stroking himself and pleasuring himself, and he's groaning in pleasure, you know, until he finally finishes off. And Bobby quickly, quickly just goes to the bucket and drops the curtains and, you know, tiptoes out and goes to his car. And he's like, what the F did I just see? What, what, what was that? Yeah. So he drives home. All this while, Uncle Wayne's image is in his head. Yeah. And he gets home and he goes straight to the shower. When he gets to the shower, he just like closes his eyes and the thought of 
Uncle Wayne pleasuring himself just turned him on. He just turned him on and he was now repeating exactly what he saw. So he was stroking himself, stroking himself, stroking himself. Yeah. And it was all when, you know, the image of Uncle Wayne is just playing in his head. It's just playing in his head and he finishes off. He cleans himself up and he goes to the bedroom. Well, Dee is cooking in the kitchen and she's done and she brings dinner to the bedroom. So they sit, they eat together and she asks her, so, babe, did you find uh, Aunt Sandy? And uh, Bobby says, no, actually, I just dropped them in the, you know, the garage in the backyard. Oh, okay, maybe you should just text her. Okay, then I'll text and let her know. Thanks, babe. You're just the best. And um, they talk, they, you know, they mean, they just catch up on, you know, the day-to-day -day stuff. And after that, they go to bed. And in the middle of the night, you know, Dee pushes her bum onto her man's pelvic area. And gentlemen, I know how this gets excited. So, yeah, of course, Bobby's excited to, you know, get it on with his girlfriend. And uh, as they start making out and caressing in four plates, getting heated up, heated up. So he, you know, he flips her and they start doing it. They start, you know, making love, sweet, nice, passionate love, you know. And then the image of Uncle Wayne pops into Bobby's head again. And he gets so hard and horny. He's like, you know what? He flips D on all fours and he bangs her. He bangs her, you know, spanking her, you know, all this loud kind of beastly. And D is moaning so loudly, you know, and it's getting so hot and heated until they both finally climax. Okay? And D, they finish up and they clean up. And then D looks at him like, babe, where did that beast come from? And then she stands up and gives him a standing ovation. And then he looks at her and he's like, you know, well, baby, you turn me on. But the truth is, it is the image of Uncle Wayne pleasuring himself that really, really got him horny. And that is Bobby's little secret, which he does not intend to divulge to anybody. Yeah? So, yeah. So, thank you all for listening. This is Chapter 7. Look out for Chapter 8, 9, and 10 tomorrow. And, um... Feel free to place an order for the book. It's available at the stores listed. And also copy paste uh, the link in bio, in our bio, to your browser to place an order for the book. It's only $3.99. So thank you all. And please like, comment, and share. Thank you and bye.